Hi everyone! Welcome to my Sunday stamping sessions for this week. I'm just going to set up um, and find myself on Facebook so that I can see your comments. So that might allow a couple of people to jump on. Don't forget if you are watching this video back um, on YouTube or later on after I've gone live that um, if you're with me live and sometimes if you join me afterwards if you leave a comment uh, I always offer a door prize so jump on to see what that is um, this week the door prize is going out to um, anybody that's joined me at all so you don't have to have watched it live you can have um, joined it later on because I know there are different time zones and Sunday afternoons are busy for people so don't ever feel that um, I don't appreciate your comments afterwards. Now let me just see if I can find me. Got it. Uh, I just need to see that I can see your comments. So thanks for joining me. This is the door prize that I have uh, for this week. It's a pack of the cards, the little sort of, um, I, don't, I don't know what they're officially called, Whisper White Narrow Note Cards and Envelopes. These are in the Occasions Catalogue. So for some lucky person that leaves me a comment this week, um, I'll be picking somebody by the end of tomorrow to send that out. Um, so leave a comment for me then. Make sure that it's on my Facebook page. Uh, if you're watching this live on YouTube, um, you can come back next Sunday for uh, and catch me on my Facebook page. My link will be down in the comments below. And um, the prize is for the Facebook watchers. So I hope you've had a, all had a good week. Thanks for those of you who sent through some suggestions of things that you'd like for um, me to make. Gosh, lost my words. Um, I'm still trying to see how I see your comments when they come up. So that's why I'm distracted. I'm never very good at doing two things at once. Don't talk to me while I'm cooking because you'll probably get uh, a salty pavlova. Okay, so let's flip you around. Today we're going to make the car that I made in this morning's blog hop, the Crazy Crafters blog hop. We were casing Alison um, from the from from Canada. Alison, I just gotta remember how to pronounce her name. Okamitsu. Alison, if you're watching, is that how I pronounce it? Alison Okamitsu. She's one of my favourite Stampin' Up designers, so I was really excited to be able to join in the blog hop today. A blog hop, for those of you who don't know it, is when you go to one blog and then there are links to other blogs and everybody has created something on the theme. So you would go to mine first, for example, and then you would click through to the next person and the next person until you've done a whole circle and come back to me. And this particular one that I do, we case a designer. So we pick somebody, usually it's an international designer, um, somebody in Stampin' Up! just somewhere else in the world who we like their designs. And then we have to case them. Case, C-A-S-E, means copy and selectively edit. Well, in this case it does. Sometimes it's copy and share everything. But for this blog hop, we selectively edit so that we can present a design of our own. So you'll be able to see my blog post from that card, um, which design of Alison's inspired me. And uh, today I thought I would go ahead and make the card with you. So let me set you up so that you can see my station. Okay, I'll just wait while I flip you. Where's my flip button? Flip you around. Okay, and just wanna make sure I don't accidentally switch you off when I do this. I'm going to shuggle all this over a bit, get my stuff out of the way. Oh. Sometimes my little arm plays ball and sometimes it's a bit hard to get into position. I think that's good enough. So here's the card that we're going to be making. And creating a shadow. Sorry guys, I want you to have a good 
good for you there. Okay, so this is the card that I made this morning. This is, the, sorry, I posted this morning. Um, and I made it through the week. Uh, it's using the Bubble and Fizz Designer Series paper, which is lots of fun. Um, it's one of the freebies from the celebration um, sale that's on at the moment. So if you spent $90 online in my store you get to pick one of quite a lot of items so today I'm going to be using two of those items one I'm going to use the party pandas because I'm going to put happy birthday onto our card uh, and I really want to use these pandas I haven't used them yet but I've seen so many good designs and so uh, that's one item you get that absolutely free when you um, spend $90 if you spend hundred say $180 you get to pick two prizes or two celebration items. So this is the Bubbles and Fizz pack, and this is another one that you can choose free. So it's just a standard pack of designer series paper, 12 sheets with um, double-sided. So I really like it, it's bright, it's bubbly, huh? and it's, I think you can make good cards for guys and girls, um, old and young alike. So you can see here, some of this is one of them, and I've hacked it to bits. This is the paper that I've used to make the bottles, to cut the bottles out to put on the front of my card. So let's get started. I've chosen three, there's two sizes of bottles on the paper. Uh, and you'll see that the ones that I've chosen for today are actually just a little bit smaller. I wanted to see what I could come up with uh, on a card this size. And then I just fussy cut them. Now, often when fussy cutting, I would leave a bit of a barrier, you know, a um, barrier, a bit of a border, a border around. But for these, I, I don't want a border. I just want the bottle on its own. So it means a little bit tighter, but it's only really around the bottle cap that you have to do any sort of tight cutting. The rest are very straight lines. So it should work fine for you. Some people love fussy cutting, it's a bit like colouring into them. Meditative, just quiet, mindless, you can think about other things. I don't mind it, but if I have to do too much, my fingers start getting sore. But if you're going to fussy cut, then I highly recommend getting these little paper snips. They're the best scissors I've ever known. I just love them for crafting. Um, they're super sharp and you can just sort of whip around easily in and out of um, nooks and crannies on your image that you're cutting out. So tell me what you get up to when you craft. Do you craft with other people and have a natter while you craft? I sometimes do that. I have some girlfriends who I catch up with oh, every few months and um, we just call it craft noon and it's bring your own craft, whatever you're working on. So one of them knits, um, one crochets, another one actually sorts of photography out. I think that's kind of crafty. Um, Go. Um, what else do I do? Um, if I'm on my own, then I love to watch trashy TV. Ah, I uh, often will put on Netflix or something and, and watch a television show that I don't need to be watching the whole time. Just something I can have on in the background. I can't see the television from my craft station anymore. So I can't put, you know, any sport or uh, anything like that on. So I get the computer out. And I really like watching documentaries, actually. I shouldn't say trash TV. My, my preference for when I'm crafting is to have a documentary on the background because I figure I'm learning something as I go rather than just mindless entertainment. But who doesn't love a bit of good trashy TV every now and then as well? And the beauty of this card is you can make it any colour that you like and on the back of the DSP packets, the designer series paper packets, there is always a, a list of what 
colors coordinate with that packet. So uh, here we have, um, I think it's, I'll show you actually. So here we have Basic Grey, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist and Whisper White. And they're all the colours that coordinate with this designer series paper. So I've actually chosen to go with a Basic Grey background for this one. I wanted to pick up on the bottle that's here. Uh, and I'm going to have Bermuda Bay in the background. So I've already pre-cut these. The top Bermuda Bay, this, this piece of designer series paper from the pack is four inches by three inches. And then the Whisper White cardstock is literally about a centimetre and a half bigger all the way around. I just want the really tightest of borders on it. Just, just a kind of a hint of the white behind it to give it a break behind the back cardstock. So whenever you're putting down something, I think a border really, really finishes off a card well. I very rarely will put um, anything without a border or some something that just, I don't know, helps it stand out. That's why I think that the stitched shapes framelits are excellent because you can just do it. It gives a bit of a border in the, in the cutting of it. So that's our background. Uh, what else do I need to do? I need to make a little straw, a little straw to go on here. So really, I just cut it myself. Um, I just lined up the side of, of some um, Whisper White cardstock, just a normal one, and I cut what I figured would be a good straw size. I literally just eyeballed it. Um, now, I will tell you there are... Uh, there are... Um, dies that go there's a whole stamp set and die that goes with this um set but i don't have them so i'm improvising and i think that's part of the fun with craft is to just use what you've got use your imagination there's a bit of the challenge is to just find what you've got in your stockpile and um, make that work for your design that way you don't have to have absolutely everything I mean, I don't know anyone that has everything out of the catalogue. There's just too much. And that's a good thing. So next I think um, I will do the sentiment. Uh, so as I said, I've chosen happy birthday for this one. The here's to a good day was for a certain person that I had in mind who hasn't been feeling too well lately and I wanted to send him a card uh, and just brighten up his day a bit. Uh, so, am I off screen there? Totally am. So, let's see if I can stamp this nice and straight. Mm -hmm. Now, Shakara, I'm actually going to just fussy cut it. I know, it's not really what you meant to do, but... Um, I often find it easier when it's just a little one to just cut it. I find little scraps can be quite hard to cut straight. So, just snip a bit off that. There's a tiny bit down the bottom. Yep. Uh, trust me, it took me a while to kind of get cutting of stuff right, so don't feel bad if you can't do it straight away. Now, uh, I glue this straight onto the cardstock. Um, if you're a lover of fast fuse, then I recommend that you stock up on it because um, it's actually going to be retired soon. I can't believe it. Yeah. Center that on the page there. Uh, and I would like some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to use a mix of the, of the mini ones and the normal ones. Because I want there to be um, a little dimensional at the top. 
nothing worse than a saggy image. Um, anyway, paper snips to get it out there. Oh, come on. So I'm just going to put a little one right at the top. Oops. Like that. And I think I'll need little ones for this. Such a good thing having mini dimensionals. Saves me cutting up all my big ones, which is fine. It's just another step. Okay, so I'm going to go with. How do I want it? Like that? Yeah, so I put down. I usually have a bit of look because these ones are a bit small than the other ones, as I said. I just want to see my placement before I go go down. So sometimes I just check out the, the design before I commit myself to sticking. So I think there. Um, gosh, I want a nice cool drink after this. It's not been too hot. It's not too hot in Melbourne today. It's just nice. But I still think I'll grab a cold drink after this. Wet my whistle. How about you? Do you like a nice cold drink in the afternoon or are you more of a tea, coffee drinker? Biscuit or something with it. That's always nice too. Okay. And I like tilting it. It kind of... Um, Sets it off, just gives a different focal point. A bit more interesting, so I'm making them cheers. Like that. And sentiment down the bottom. And to finish it off, I quite like it like that. But to finish it off, I might... Well, I use one of these in the middle. What do you think? Maybe a silver one. Somewhere in my little bag of goodies, I have the silver ones. There we go. Silver. Yeah. I think so. I like a bit of bling on my cards. Not too much, just tasteful. So there we go. That is uh, my card for today. You can see how just a slight change in, in the pattern, the, the, the colours that you use with the same pattern gives you um, a nice card for a different occasion. So thanks very much for joining me today. I really uh, loved being able to film this live for you guys. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment sometime before midnight um, Melbourne, Australia time. And I'll pick someone from that to send the notelets to. Check back in next week. My door prize will be some pretty designer series paper. I might even give away some of the bubble and fizz. Haven't decided yet. Uh, and as always, if you, there's something in particular that you'd like, then um, drop me a line and let me know what I can make for you or technique or anything like that. Have a great week, everybody. Happy crafting. Bye.